Hello and welcome again. I was discussing the different characteristics of different classes of subphylum vertebrata. I have already discussed some characters like habitat, locomotion, nature, association, body temperature and exoskeleton. Today I am going to discuss some more characters like endoskeleton. The endoskeleton of cartilaginous fishes are sorry conjunctives are cartilaginous. This is also known as cartilaginous fish. The endoskeleton of ostic thighs is bony. Endoskeleton of amphibians, reptilia, apes, and mammalia, they are also having bono, bony endoskeleton. Skull. The skull of Pisces, amphibia, and mammal are dicondylic. Skull of reptilia and apes are monocondylic. Liver. Liver of Pisces and reptilia and apes are bilobed. Liver of amphibia is trilobed. And mammals have five lobes in their liver. Gallbladder. Gallbladder is present in Pisces, amphibians, reptilia and mammalia. But it is absent in apes. Respiratory organ. The respiratory organ of Pisces are gills. Respiratory organ of amphibians are skin, gill and lungs. Respiratory organ of reptilia, apes and mammalia are lungs. Heart. Heart of Pisces are two-chambered. Amphibians and reptilia have three-chambered heart. The heart of apes and mammalia is four chambered cranial nerves pisces and amphibians have 10 pairs of cranial nerves but reptilia apes and mammals have 12 pairs of cranial nerves kidney the kidney of sharks or cartilaginous fish conduct has uh, is opisthonephros. Kidney of bony faces are mesonephros. Kidney of amphibia is mesonephric. Kidney of reptilia also is mesonephric. Kidney of apes and mammalia are metanephric. Okay, today, uh, thank you for watching my video.